Lesson 23, Refining Resources Now that we have collected all our resources, it's time to refine them. This, we do at a manufacturing plant. As indicated in the previous lesson, if you look on your map, you look for the hammer icon, which indicates a manufacturing plant. So let's refine all our collected raw resources. Scrap will become basic materials, or BMATs, Components will become refined materials, or R mats, and sulfur will become explosive materials, or E, or X mats. To refine materials, approach the manufacturing plant, press E to open it, let's get these tech parts out of here, and then left click on your various components and scrap and sulfur to add them to the manufacturing plant. All raw resources are refined and turned into their various material states at a ratio of 4 to 3, which means when we hit the salvage or refine button, 99 scrap will turn into 75 basic materials, 20 sulfur will turn into approximately 15 explosive material, and 20 components will turn into 15 refined material. Let's try this now. Oh, we had another player D-Dog coming over here and adding some uh, raw resources as well. But here we go. We have our 15 explosive material, our 15 refined material, and it would have been 75 basic material, but I think some of his additions of scrap added to that. And there we go. You can see D-Dog refining some more materials. And let's collect our explosive material and our refined material and our basic materials. And that is how we convert raw resources into basic materials, refined materials, and explosive materials through the manufacturing plant. The question then becomes, once we have created our various materials, what do we do with them? There are a few answers to this. If you have created these materials for various purposes, such as you want to build vehicles, or ferry them to an outpost or an FOB, or various other defenses that you wish to build, such as structures as well, you can go ahead and transport them to where you need to go for that purpose. By and large, however, a map will have a quartermaster, and generally the quartermaster runs things from the weapon factory, which is indicated by these two bullet icons just to the west of me. This means that now that we have created our materials, we can transport them to the weapon factory. Generally, our quartermaster will be there orchestrating all logistics around the map, and we can deposit them in storage chests there. But even if the quartermaster is not there, by and large, at the weapons factory, players will congregate all the resources into storage chests so that they may be distributed later on. Let's go and do that now. It's a good thing I've got good souls walking for my country. There we go. Here we have found the weapons factories. And as expected, just outside of this easternmost weapons factory, there are many storage boxes. As you can see, there is no quartermaster available on this map at present or on the server, but we can still put our materials into the storage box so that when a quartermaster comes on later or any other player requires the use of our explosive materials, refined materials, or basic materials, they are ready and waiting for him or her. Ah, some grenade launchers here available as well. And more explosive material. As I indicated earlier, the weapons factory is generally the staging area for all logistics around your faction's map control. And it is from here that other players will come and collect crates of munitions, weapons, ammunition, and ferry them around the map, as well as collecting various resource types. The exception to all of this, however, is fuel. Let's go and examine that now. Our fuel, we'll want to deposit that at the vehicle factory, for handy use by any players creating vehicles in order to fill up their various creations. Their trucks, their half tracks, their tanks, and as of 0 0.4, their landing craft as well. Let's go and run this fuel over to the vehicle factory. 
As always, we open the map, we identify where the vehicle factory is, indicated by this truck icon. It is just below the workshop, and it is to our southwest. As we are carrying so much fuel, we are heavily encumbered, and our stamina drains very quickly. Which means, as a logistics player without a truck, one generally has to walk pretty slowly everywhere. There's the workshop, and the vehicle factory is just beneath it. Or to its south, if we're going to be in the military and be precise. As you can see, outside of the vehicle factory are storage boxes. Generally, in these storage boxes, you'll find ammunition or basic materials, or other materials depending on the tech level of vehicle you wish to construct. Over here in this first storage box, we have all the fuel. We've gathered some, now let's put our fuel into the storage box so that any other players who need it when they create their vehicle or are coming back to town to refuel their vehicles may acquire some from the storage box. This is our petrol station. Again, let's ignore the ludonarrative disconnect whereby our storage box filled with untold canisters of jerry cans worth of fuel is our petrol station. And that soldier is generally how one refines raw materials and deposits them after the refining process. By depositing fuel at the vehicle factory and depositing all your materials at the weapons factories, you are following the best practices and best guidelines around a logistics player. If you are in any doubt and you are on a populated server, please feel free to ask in the team chat where your quartermaster would prefer all logistics, materials, and fuel to be run. But by default, as it has been shown in this tutorial, those are the best practices. Now that you know how to harvest, gather, mine basic resources and convert them and refine them into the material form, you are now a logistics player. Welcome to the core, soldier. Hooah!